I'm going to do some random pulls for Cantonese style mahjong using Hong Kong old style scoring. That's the easiest way to score and the best way to get started playing the game. There's a link to the lesson playlist if you want to learn how to play. There's also a link there for a player reference that can help you follow along with scoring. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have all my tiles out and they have been mixed. I have a wind of the round indicator here. The game is played in four rounds where each player gets to be the dealer in each round. And the rounds are called East, South, West, and North, which coincide with seats, one, two, three, and four. So we'll do four random pulls, one for East, south, west, then north. And I want to just randomize which seat we're in because that can affect the scoring. So I'm just gonna roll the dice to randomly pick which seat I might be in. That is not actually part of the game. Again, if you wanna know more about it, there's a link to the lesson playlist that explains the actual mechanics of the game. So we're gonna start with East Round and let's just say we're seat Four. If you take eight and count around the table that number, that would be the north seat. So I'm gonna put a four up on the dice. So we're in seat four and it is east round. If we are non-dealer, that means we're gonna get 13 tiles. So let's see what we can do with these tiles. For these tiles, it looks to me like we're set up for an all chow hand. So here we have one, two, three, four, five potential chows. We don't have a pair, which we need, but the other challenge with this particular arrangement is these are all closed weights where we need the tile in the middle to finish the chow. It's better to have side weights. A side weight would be, for example, this right here. Five, six, where we need either a four dot or a seven dot to complete that chow. That is a stronger weight than a closed weight like this. So I think we would need to draw to improve the weights for each one of these chows. But I think um, for now, this would be a one fawn hand, plus we have no flowers. Flowers are bonus tiles. And if you have no flowers, that's a fawn as well. So this would be a two fawn hand if it were to go to completion with that plan. I would discard these first and then try to improve the weight as I pick and discard. So let's do the random pull for south round. And this time, let's say we're in seat two, which is south. We rolled a six. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. And that would be south seat. So we're at south seat and then it's south round. Oh, there's a south. If we get a pung of south, we would get two fawn for that because it's our seat and it's the wind of the round. Let's see if we can get that back. South is non-dealer, so we'll get 13 tiles. And we did get South right here. There's a pair of South. So if we get a pung of that, we'll get two fawn for that. So random pull one had one fawn. Let's say that random pull two is two fawn. So just by punging this south, that would be two fawn all by itself. We also have a pair of west wind. So that might help. I think in this case, I would try for a half flush with dots. So we have here a potential chow, a potential pung. This is isolated. 
but we also have two pair of winds. So this is one, two, three, four, five blocks. These are ready to pung, and this is ready to chow. So I would say that would be a good strong plan. Now this is a closed weight, so that's not very strong, but it's still a good block to get us to a half flush. I would discard these first. And this would be, let's see, three fawn for a half flush, two fawn for wind of the round and seat win. So this would be a five fawn hand, plus there's no flowers. This would be a six fawn hand if we get rid of these tiles here. And that is a really good score, actually. The max score for Hong Kong old style is 10. Pung, 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 chow, pear. That would be my plan here. If you would do something different, let me know. We do have a chow in here, but if you mix chows in different suits, you drive your score down by three. So that's why I would get rid of these. Even though they might look good, even it's a an edge weight, so or not an edge weight, this would be a side weight because we need either a two or a five, but that would drive our score down by three if we mix suits. So I think half flush. Okay, now we're going to be in west round. And this time, let's say I rolled an eight and that would be north seat. So we're in north seat and it's west round. This time we're on the third random pull. So let's say we have a three fawn minimum. What, uh, north is non-dealer, so we have 13 tiles. No flowers, that's a fawn right there. So the other two fawn are gonna have to come from somewhere. And I think the easiest way to get to three fawn is a half flush or all pung. In this case, we do have six cracks. I think what I would do is hold the pair in case we pair up, we could switch to all pung. But in this case, I think I would try for half flush and maybe a pung of the seat wind. This is a north, which is our seat wind. And that would give us another fawn. So a half flush in itself is three fawn. The problem here is that we have six discards, which is significant. We would have to draw really well. The only other redeeming quality here, a little bit of a redeeming quality, is we have two ready uh, potential chows. We have a closed weight and an edge weight. This would be an edge weight where we're waiting on a three crack. And it's called an edge weight because the ter of the terminal, which is a one or a nine. So this would be an edge weight, which is weak. And then these two are isolated. So clearly we need more cracks to join these tiles here, which are not gonna do us any good being isolated. So there's a lot of work to be done here. This may even be a defense hand where you just strictly play defense and get to the next hand. If you would do something different here, let me know. But with a three fawn minimum right now, no flowers is one fawn. We need two more fawns somewhere. And that's why I chose half flush. You want to pick a, a direction to go, but stay flexible during the pick and discard phase. Depending on how the drawing goes and what's being exposed by the other players, you can always change it up. That's one of the beauties of this version. It's very flexible. I rolled an 11, eight, nine, 10, 11 is west. So this time we're in seat three, which is west, and we are on the north round. So random pull one, one fawn. Random pull two, two fawn. Random pull three, three fawn. Let's say that's, that we need four fawn this time.
Let's hope for flowers. No flowers. Flowers are bonus points like that. That would be a flower and that would be a four flower. We would need a three flower to get any score. This, in this situation, we have no flowers, which is a fawn. So right now we have a fawn. Let's see if we have a major suit that we can leverage. We do have honors, which are winds and dragons, but they're singles. So alone, they can do nothing for us. This is gonna be a challenge. Here's what I would try. We have the same number of bams and cracks, but we do have terminals. If we played wins and dragons and ones and nines, that would be all honors. I believe that is a four fawn hand. Let me just double check. For Hong Kong style, all honors and terminals is not a special score. We would need one suit. We'd have to commit to one of these suits. And there's a pair in each. The only other thing that we could do is maybe pair up and try for all Pung, which is gonna be a long shot. There's six discards there. If we picked a suit and went with one suit, we would have six discards, but it would be easier. I think it's easier to draw in the suited tiles in a suit than it is to pair up and Pung. So I think I would hold the three BAM as long as possible, get rid of these first, and then try to draw in dots and play half flesh. That would be three fawn plus no flowers would be four fawn. And if we're in seat three, if we pair up the west and pung it, that would be another fawn. So there's a few ways to get to four fawn, but this would be uh, probably a long shot and maybe a defense hand. I hope these random pulls gave you a good idea of what it's like to play the game. This is just looking at your drawn tiles and assessing where the hand could go. The pick and discard phase of the game can change your plans, so it's really important to stay flexible. But these what would you do exercises, I think is a really great way to learn the scoring. Again, if you need a reference, there's a link below the video for that. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.